Hello everybody and welcome back to another Quick Communions video and today I'm going to be teaching you all about Blueprint and C++ class communication. So for example, if you want to make a variable in C++ and call it from Blueprint or get it in Blueprint, then you will learn how to do that. And you can have it, um, so you want a C++ function to be called in Blueprint, you can do it like that. So let's get into it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is from the last episode, I thought would be a very good um, like example. So we have a C++ FPS character. And um, well, let's say we have a variable in the FPS character and we want to have a blueprint ha taking that um, variable. So like we have a speed variable in the C++ class and we want to get that variable from blueprint. So that's very simple to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a blueprint class um, based on the FPS character. And I'll call it BP underscore FPS character and put it in blueprints. So since in the FPS character class we made it um, derived from character, so you can see if we hover over it, it says parent class character. So in here, the character comes with a bunch of components pre-made for you. So it has the capsule component, which is just a capsule collider, an arrow component, which tells you where, which direction your character is looking, and a mesh. And we don't have any mesh in our project right now, so I can't really show you it. But this is, if you have any mesh, like character mesh, like a character model, you would put it in here. And then you also have a character movement component, which is amazing. You can change the gravity, you can change the speed, um, you can change the mass, you can change everything in the character movement component. And really simple. And another thing we do want to do is in our game mode, make sure that we are spawning our BP underscore FPS character so that it is no longer spawning the C++ class, it is spawning the Blueprint class. So if we run it, you should see nothing is different. The only difference is that now we are spawning a blueprint FPS character instead of just directly C++. So all the functionality is the same, pretty much. But now we can add stuff on top of it in blueprint, which is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to open up C++, my C++ IDE to show you all the cool stuff you can do. So, yeah. Okay, so here we are in our C++ class. And let's say we want to make a variable. Now, we're not going to actually use our variable in um, our code, we're just going to make a variable for example purposes. So let's say we have a float called speed, and we can make it equal to 10. So um, let's say we have a um, some code in blueprint, so we can just make a function, and we can call print variable. And what we're going to do is um, we will print um, a simple variable. So if you can see if we run this, um, of course we're not calling the function. So we're going we're gonna to actually call the function on begin play. So you can see at the top left it says hello. Um, let's have that stay for a little bit longer so we'll have it for 10 seconds just so we have some time to see that so you can see 10 seconds um so let's say the variable we want to print is in c plus plus so to make this a speed variable um exposed to the editor <coughs> we can make this really we can use this really cool macro called view property and, um, and then what you want to do is type in edit anywhere, comma, blueprint, read, write. Now, um, if you want your um, variable to be, for example, only like read by blueprint, you don't want it to be like um, edited at all. So let's see, let's see, we just want to print the variable. We don't want to set it to be anything. Um, we would just make it blueprint, um, 
blueprint read only and then we can make this visible anywhere so we can't actually change the va variable in the editor we can only change it from C++ but in this case um, I, I actually will use it just so I can show you the two differences so um, we can compile this and um, I do recommend closing the blueprint editor because Unreal has some weird troubles when you're you know like when you have a blueprint that's derived from a C++ class and you change stuff in the C++, Unreal Engine somehow has a really hard time with that stuff sometimes, like it can bug. So if you if you have any problems, just close the editor and reopen it and it should be fine. So, yeah. Okay, so the compile is done. I'll reopen. And um, you should see if we right click and try to get our speed variable, you can see get speed and we can actually print this. So if we convert this speed float to a string, we can compile it, and if we run the game, you can see it prints 10, because we um, set this variable to be 10. And we can do some other cool stuff with it, like we can add stuff onto it, so we can, we can do plus 20. Of course, that will be 30. Yeah, and um, yeah. So um, now notice if we try to set speed, we don't get anything, and that is because we didn't set this to be blueprint read write. We only set it to be blueprint read only. So I will change this to blueprint read write and edit anywhere. So edit anywhere, blueprint, um, read write. So let's compile this. Compile is done, and now if we right click and try to set speed you can see we now have the option to set this so now we can go ahead we can print our speed variable um, before so we can get speed and print it and then we can say um, then we'll, we'll just set the speed to 15 and then we can print this we don't want that to be the duration okay. so now um, you can see we get 15 and 10 and um, what's really cool is that in C++ it will also be setted so just be aware if you're setting a variable in blueprint and um, that variable will also be set in C++. So any C++ code you have with that variable, um, if you're setting it in Blueprint, it will also be changed. So yeah. Now let's see what we do about functions. Okay, so functions are a whole nother thing. So um, um, first we'll do calling a C++ function from Blueprint. And then we'll do calling a blueprint function from C++, which is really cool. So I'll delete the blueprint function print variable. And we'll make, um, we'll delete the speed variable as well. I also forgot to mention, if your variable is private, so if we have it in the private section, um, and we try to do that same stuff, so we make u property edit anywhere, blueprint read write, we make that float. Um, this will actually give you an error because um, by default you can't actually like edit stuff in the blueprint if it's private. You can see, yeah, um, the IntelliSense. Blueprint read write should not be used on private members. So we can do this. We can do comma meta equals allow private access equals and quotation marks true. And now we don't have an error. That's something if it is a private variable. Back to functions. So, um, let's say we have a void called, um, uh, maybe log is not the best one. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll do log. So, log, let's do print string. Okay. We'll make the print string function in here. Void print string 
And all we'll do is UE log a log temp. It will be a warning so that we can see it. And it will just be called we are printing from C++. Okay, that's all our function is going to be. So let's say we want to call this function in Blueprint. So we're not calling our function anywhere in C++. Just keep that in mind. So we want to call it in Blueprint. What we can do is we can type this. U function Blueprint callable. And what this will do is um, allow you to call this function from Blueprint. So let's do that. Let's compile it and we'll see in Blueprint. Okay, so now we can right click, print string. Oh wait. Yeah, okay, so I'm kind of dumb and made the print string function in C++ identical to the print stri string function in Blueprint, so you might want to name it. So you can see you call function print string. You can see target is FPS character. That's how you know it's the right one, because you can see if we call the other print string function, you can see it's literally the exact same name. But just keep in mind, this is the F this is the C++. So we, we're calling it on begin play. We're calling C++ function on begin play. Let's look at the output log play. You can see we are printing from C++ and we are calling it in Blueprint. We're not calling it at all in C++. We're not calling anything in C++. We are just calling this from Blueprint only. So how about um, calling a Blueprint function from C++? So you can't actually do this. You can't just say um, print, print line and you know print you can't just um, do that. You actually have to make the function. It's a little complicated. You have to make the function in C++, but then the blueprint can override the function. So let's let's do that really quick. So um, let's actually change this to print line, and we can say blueprint native event, and it will give us an error because we um, need another function called void print line and it wants underscore implementation and then we actually do have to implement this print line or no, no 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 we don't implement the print line function at all in C++ we just have to say void implementation. So um, pretty much all this is doing is uh, this is like if you want to add if you want to type some C++ code and then you want to add more in blueprint this is how you do it. I'm just gonna call it the print line function so that it's actually being called and um, there's no errors. You know what? I'm not even gonna this just has to be implemented. We're not gonna put any code in it. So yeah, let's compile and see this. So yeah, to sum it up, we're making this a blueprint native event, meaning that we're gonna actually implement this function in blueprint and Unreal just needs this implementation function in case we want to add stuff in C++. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so our compile is done. And now in blueprint, Go to functions, override, and you should see print line. And you can um, see now it's an event, and by default you can just um, whenever this function is called, you can just say print and just say contain from BP. And every time this function is called, uh, it is printing this. What you can do is you can right click, convert, com, collapse the function, or no, 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 um, you can right click, convert event to function, and now this is an actual function, and you can see there's this override, and this override means that we are overriding the C++ function in Blueprint. So now we can just say print 
string. We are um we are printing printing from BP. So now in C let's just say on begin play, we can call that print line function. And that print line function is the blueprint function that we just made. So whenever we're calling the print line function now, it's actually calling print string from um, blueprint. So let's compile this. Okay, so we run. You can see we are printing from BP. And in blueprint, we're not calling the function at all. We are calling the function on begin play in C++, but the function is implemented in Blueprint. So this is really, really um, cool if you want to have some like gameplay code in Blueprint, but you have some other math stuff in C++, so you can call the Blueprint function in C++ now. So you see we're printing from BP, even though the Blueprint function is in um, C++. So I hope this guide helped you with Blueprint and C++ communication. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.